fire kind of comes over the lion, comes over King's Landing. Everything looks fucking chill in Dorne. Maintaining our theory that, like, just go to Dorne if you want to escape all this shit, you know? Dude, for um, real. <laughs> yeah, they got chill cool Dorne, dude. Slave chill outfits Dorne. and shit. Yeah, like, yeah. why don't we just move to Dorne? This would be a way quicker show. Uh, Game of Thrones came out with a new teaser trailer, so let's go ahead and discuss that. And uh, well, let me go ahead and play it first, and then uh, we'll get back with our thoughts. Ooh, we are getting closer, Christian. We are getting closer for the final season of Game of Thrones. Uh, Season eight. So, Christian, I'm going to kind of replay the trailer over again. But uh, while I do that, what are your thoughts when you see this? Well, I think the HBO is being fucking lazy and didn't want to give us any footage. So they made this thing. But I'll take it. Honestly, uh, you know, one of my favorite things about the show is I never skip the intro when I watch Game of Thrones because they'll do little minor tweaks on the intro and you get to see new things. And I think we can kind of use the same, you know, powers of investigation here to kind of break down this trailer. Mm -hmm. um, you see the mist, right, which is kind of synonymous with the White Walkers. You see it come over uh, the wolf emblem, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, does that mean that all the Starks are going to die? Does that mean that Winterfell definitely falls? You know, all of these things are going to be answered in due time. But the thing I'm most curious about is that right there when the fire and the ice meets. Because yeah. it looks like it creates a new wall, right? Yeah. Um, is one of the endings of this that, like, they're able to survive, but basically the borders have changed, right? Like, the White Walkers, the dead, has Ooh. taken more of Westeros than uh, initially. And this is, you know, until the next long winter when shit happens. Yeah. Um, does it mean that literally all the Starks are going to die? I mean, like I said, you saw all the different emblems. You saw a dragon get taken over as well. Where they converge, I believe, is right by the River Trident, which is where uh, Robert Baratheon beat Aegon. Uh, and right or, or Rhaegar, Tar Targaryen, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Rhaegar, yeah. Yeah, and then they go, and then uh, right after that, like, that's the last kind of, like, domino to fall before Robert takes the throne. So, like, there's a lot to unpack there from very little footage. Uh, and, uh, you know, my mind is already racing with possibilities. What's your initial impressions of the trailer? Dude, you you gave me a lot more to, to chew and think about now, you know? So, okay, so I, I see that. I'm thinking, well, they're just coming to the north, so, of course, the Starks have to kind of face it. We get the one frozen dragon from, obviously, the worst episode from last uh, season of Game of Thrones arguably the worst episode of game of thrones we can talk about that later um this whole thing with the fire though and the and the lannisters right i think it's kind of like well their dynasty or or their house is pretty much done i think it's just kind of succumbed to that right because cersei is crazy and jamie is doing who knows what but i think jamie's on a re redemption arc right i mean we, we pretty much have seen it uh what i think post a red wedding with him or oh no it was right around the red wedding uh yeah it was in that season they really mm -hmm. dude once he jumped jumped into that pit and fucking saved Bri brianne from the bear i mean did you ever hate jamie again at that moment like that no. was him being a badass i loved yeah. him from that moment on um yeah mm -hmm. dude i don't know it's it's really interesting like you said because fire kind of comes over the lion comes over king's landing everything looks fucking chill and dorn maintaining our theory that like just go to dorn if you want to escape all this shit you know dude for um, real <laughs> Yeah, they the got cool door, Rico dude, Slave the outfits door. and shit. Yeah, like, yeah. why don't we just move to Dorne? This would be a way quicker show. Anyway, <laughs> well, uh, but what I, I do, I just want to yeah. point one thing out because it's interesting, and you sort of brought it up, which is like, yeah. listen, we're all playing the the, the the big game, the large war here, the war against the undead, but Cersei, Cersei ain't there yet, bro. She's conniving, she's biding her time, but she's just waiting in order to can, uh, to resume her fucking war. Mm. And so that's the other element here. It's not like, yo, we're all on a united front against the dead. It's like, we still have to play the politics of man. And I think that's going to lead to some really, really interesting material in the final season. And again, six episodes. So it's going to be, it's going to be really interesting to see how they pace this stuff out because it can't just be six episodes of a war, of right? Course. Nor can it necessarily be six episodes of people talking in a back room, even though I think that's when Game of Thrones excels. Mm -hmm. So, uh, dude, I'm really fucking excited. Obviously, I'm talking over you. Uh, jump in. Say some shit. No, 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 no. Hey, listen, <laughs> this is you for once because, you know, when Game of Thrones comes, it's going to be just kind of bonkers, you know, for, for everyone uh, watching and participating, uh, you know, as we join this final journey, right? You're right. The, the last six episodes, they can't be all, you know, all, uh, you know, just just a big giant war, right? But I've also look at this too now, where I think we have to have at least an episode and a half of like, okay, 
here's the post-war stuff, right? Um, and the way this trailer was looking at it, and I feel like we're doing one of those dissect teaser trailers. I keep on playing it. Um, because while I'm slowly like unraveling all of this, you're right. There's a point in the middle where it just kind of stops. Now, again, people can say it's just for the sake of the trailer, but look where it's stopping, just split in the middle. It seems like there could be something happening here where maybe now, because we know the, the backstory with the, the, the Night King, right? Right. He finally talks or they just come to an agreement. And again, the thing Game of Thrones have always done well, right, is not that the, the person we think is a villain is a true villain, right? Like when we see them fleshed out and we, or we see more of their backstory, now we end up finding out, well, maybe the White Walkers were I'm not saying they were good. I mean, they, they were weapons from uh, what do you call the, the elves? I'm blanking out. So the, the, the children of the forest. The children of the like forest, that. right? They yeah. Created. Yeah, they were used as weapons. But again, we only saw that one perspective. And again, if we're keeping to the show, not the books, people, maybe, you know, um, the creators, uh, Benioff and uh, Weiss, they can come up with something new or something that people or even the book readers don't know, right? Where it's like, oh, there's more to the White Walkers than we thought. And maybe this is where the show is going to end, right? Like they'll kind of coexist, but maybe they'll hate each other still, right? And it's like, well, listen, <laughs> up there was too much. Let's just kind of take half of Westeros. Dorn, you know, what up? Looking kind of good right now during the summer. How you doing? <laughs> but uh, but all jokes aside, yeah, I think we're going to see the end of Cersei. I, I think it's just probably inevitable, right? Whatever happens with Jamie, who knows? It's up in the air, right? Um, in terms of, you know, the, the North being kind of frozen, I think that's just the beginning of the war, right? Sorry, I keep on just slowly dissecting uh, this little teaser. No, but that's so the much. point. I mean, do you think it's just that Winterfall fell? Yeah, of course. Winterfall is yeah. uh, obviously way closer to uh, the wall than King's Landing is, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. But does that, does it mean something more? Does it mean, like, that the Starks don't make it out of this alive? Uh, yeah, I think the very good question. Real questions that we should be asking right now mm -hmm. um and yeah it could just be a teaser but they've done such a good job of like like i said i brought up the intro they'll change the intro you know because uh the 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 boltons are now in winterfell so they changed the banners a little bit you know like little things like that i think that they're, they're purposely trying to give you as much detail as they can without showing you any footage we saw this in season two right the the, the flashback daenerys had with the uh, king's landing all being covered in snow so we have to know at some point the people up in north you know the, the people up in the north they don't succeed, right? Or maybe they just kind of have to retreat so they can just kind of refocus and regroup on what the hell is literally happening, right? Because this is a war they've never experienced, right? Even when we saw right. season two of the Battle of the Five Kings, as awesome as that was, <laughs> it, it, it's funny how e even they alluded to the war there. It's like, well, listen, they're coming in about a week, so come on. Are we going to shoot the shit or are we going to start, like, getting ready and, you know, pr trying to call alliances, right? So with this, they don't know what to anticipate, and that's the, the, the great part, right, that, that you and I now as the audience, we don't know what, what to anticipate because we've been getting that build pretty much at the end of – Every season, if it wasn't with Daenerys, it was always something with the White Walkers, right? Like building the army, mm -hmm. seeing the horde of, uh, you know, White Walkers, you know, come to fruition and, you know, hard homes. Oh, my God, dude. What, what a crazy uh, episode. Uh, anyway. Well, I'm, uh, the other thing I was going to say quickly, just because, like, I'm curious, is we know the White Walkers are, are like a pretty unstoppable force with the exception of uh, what Dragonglass, right? Yeah. Um, Maybe that wall, man. Because what's the forging process of, of dragon glass? You know, isn't it magic and, and the of dragon's fire, right? I mean, I'm not 100% sure on this, but I'm wondering if that's how this new wall is created. Um, and it's a wall that's, that you know, the other one had like a fucking magic oath spell on it, right? To kind of ward off the, the, the walkers and shit like that. But this one would literally be something made out of material that can kill them. So I don't, I mean, again, so many fucking theories and we have like, what, five more months until it comes out, but... Uh, I, I, I know certainly we have a bunch to think about until then, so I'm excited. Yeah, yeah, and I'm also going to say this before we jump off the story. Uh, with that said, there's so much happening with Game of Thrones. Uh, I, I think, Christian, if I can go ahead and announce it right here, right? So for, for the Toasties to kind of get the exclusive, we will be doing season deep dives with those as we get closer towards the end or, or towards the, as we get closer towards the, the season eight. 